All right, all right, all right. You're gonna learn today. What's up, YouTube? So, I, I'm, I'm doing this video real quick just to help some people out. Uh, basically, if you're trying to replace the shift solenoid pack in your 42 RLE transmission, you're gonna find a bunch of videos supposedly how to replace it. The problem is, and this is where everybody's getting hung up at, how do you remove the valve body from the transmission? Especially if you're like me, working on the ground. How do you remove the valve body? Now, the only tips anybody's gonna tell you is put it in low gear. And that's it. The issue with that is that they're kind of right. You do have to put it in low gear, but there's one thing that they're not telling you. There's one spot past low. Makes all the difference in the world. Let me show you why, right? So what you got to do is you got to grab. So this is what your shifter cable connects to. It goes on top of the transmission, right? There's a, there's a space for it, right? So like that. Right, see it's on there? Now, this is the thing about this transmission. You see this rod right here? Your valve body is gonna have this rod. If you put it, if you just put your shifter in drive, it stops at this notch, right? That's where it stops. When you go in the car and you pull it all the way down, it's gonna stop there. The problem is, this rod is still flapping around and this, this rod is gonna get caught on something and that's why it's so hard to pull it out. There's actually one notch beyond low. This is as far as it's gonna go with the shifter. So this is why you have to take the cable off, put this back on, and then what you're gonna have to do is shift it. Now, this is while it's still in. You won't be able to see this right away, but this is actually what's happening, right? So it's gonna lay in this position but once you turn this thing, one more time, hold on, let me hold it, like that, this thing gets caught in here, see? It doesn't move. Once this locks into place, it will pull right out. As long as it's in this position, see, it's loose. And it gets hung up on stuff while you guys are trying to pull it out. And you have to be careful not to bend this rod. But you see, this thing is all loosey-goosey when it's not, that's if you just pull it in low in the vehicle. So like I said, take the cable off, take the cable off, your shifter cable, put this back on, you know, make sure you got it in the right position, put your, put this back on, whoops, pull me a second, all right, put this thing back on, and then, because this will be laying like this, as soon as it's, you know, off anyway, it'll be like this. So the only thing you want to do is go to that one last notch. You can't see this from the other side. So this is what you have to do. Turn it one more time, pass low, and it will lock this in place, see? And now this is locked. It won't hang up on anything, and then you can pull this down. Is that simple enough? Nobody's telling you this, I don't understand. But yes, right there, that's it. Lock that in, and this thing will pull out. As long as this thing is loose, it's gonna get hung up on something while you're trying to pull it out. And you guys may notice that you can pull it down maybe an inch or two, and then it gets stuck. This is why. Put this back, and it locks in place, and that's it. All right, I catch you guys. Wait, wait, before I even go, let me say this. At the end of this video, you guys are about to see, if it didn't happen right now, you're gonna see the pop-up. The pop-up video that's coming up right now is the video for the whole replacement of the shift solenoid. I just wanted to make this video, you know, in case you were, you already did all the other stuff and you got hung up right here. All right, guys, so on that note, I'll catch you on the next one.